welcome to a new weekly vlog. Technically would say it's a uni vlog but uni is now off or at least a couple of weeks, I don't really know. Um, I haven't got a timetable for the rest of the year so technically I could be off for the rest of the year but um, I know I'm not. I've got a couple of a couple more units to do so I know I'm not finished because I don't finish till like September, October time but I finished like learning up till May so um I it's Monday the 25th it is the day of my smear test which is why I'm really I'm nervous but I'm trying not to think about it because it's like like once I'm in there I'll be fine it's not I'll be fine I'll still be nervous but I, it'll have to I just have to get it done so I'm just going to get I have to man up and just go it's okay it'll last a couple of minutes and then I'll be fine and I'll be walking home and that's my way of thinking it. Um, today I'm literally just working up. I'm not doing any other uni work apart from my social media stuff. But like, technically, I should look at my consumer insights. Um, but I really just I can't focus on it when I'm trying to do this like group work because I really want to like get all the final bits done and get it all sorted and be prepared. So yesterday, once I ended the vlog, I got in a really cleaning mode. I cleaned like apart from a couple of areas in my room, I've cleaned like everything. I like. I need to clean the windowsill, which is something I'll probably do at some point this week. And I need to clean where my TV is and stuff. But everything else I cleaned, like put the cleaner, hoovered. I used to change my bedding. And I was in a really cleaning room yesterday. Um, so that happened. Okay, it's now three o'clock. Um, I've just got back from the doctors. The smear test happened. It didn't go... Didn't go. It went well, you know. I don't know the results until obviously um, four to six weeks. But I'm not gonna lie to you. It was painful and like uncomfortable. It was not a comfortable feeling um, having a smear test. If you guys haven't had it, but I do recommend you guys go if you're old enough to have it or you've been invited to go and have a smear test. I do recommend you go do it because it is important. Um, and it literally does last 30 seconds and then after that it's done and you get to go so it's not like it's going to take up your whole day just by going to the doctors and having a smear test you're going to be there for like 30 seconds and you're out of there you're not going to be in there like being analysed um, for 4 hours so just try not to put it off like I had to walk 30 minutes to get there and 30 minutes to get back which is just to be in there for like five minutes I was in the room for no longer than five minutes I had to obviously get to take my trousers off my underwear off do that and then put it back on and yeah the lady, the lady who did it was really nice she just spoke to me she um made me feel comfortable which was the main thing but yeah it literally is not last that long I spent more time walking than I did in the doctors so but now I'm literally gonna I'm gonna get on some of the group work Okay, it is very much later than I last vlogged. It's ten to eight. I took like a two hour nap. I haven't gone not two hour nap. I had my group meeting. Well, my yeah, my group meeting where just two of us joined at like half three. It was a pretty good meeting. She was pretty happy with everything. She just wanted us to like, add a few things and just make sure we mentioned a few things in the presentation. So that's good. I'm just gonna get another coat because I need. And then I basically took a nap. Um, Honestly, don't know why I needed it. Um, but I was absolutely not good. Couldn't sleep, couldn't sleep, couldn't stay at my computer. I was literally falling asleep, literally sitting down. And I was just like, you know what? I can't fight it any longer. Like, part of my New Year's, well, New Year's goals was not to take it, to just cut out naps, or at least cut down on naps. So I actually haven't had a nap. So I barely have naps anymore. I don't like having them because it means I don't. It takes me forever to sleep at night, and I already struggle with sleeping at night. I usually go to bed at like half one. Like, I go to turn my TV off. Everything and then I still have still suddenly I'm wide awake from like half twelve to half one. So um I'm just pouring another coat because I got basically I was meant to get like quite a bit done this afternoon because um after my meeting I was meant to finish doing the stuff of my group work I was doing and then I was meant to start writing my script for the presentation because we want to record it or well film it on Wednesday. Um and then I took a nap so I'm gonna try and on with it. I was just gonna go get a gin and lemonade because you know what I was like why not I had a much more test today <laughs> treat myself but I might go on a bit later on um it might be to sleep later um but yeah so I am now going to attempt to work on editing the vlog and work on the last bits of the um, group work and try and start writing my script I was just editing 
the vlog and as I was doing it I just had the clip come up when I did the multiple choice questions for my exam and I just remembered I was on the way to the doctors earlier and my group chat went off saying the multiple choice answers are out already um so I checked it and I got 32 out of 40 so I got 80 percent in the um multiple choice questions which I'm really happy with because obviously there's two parts of this exam and I don't think I've done that well in the second part so I'm really happy that I did well in the first part so it could help boost my grade up hopefully. Um, so we're going to see what happens when the grades for the second part come out and then I can figure it out. Um, good morning, it is currently not long till afternoon, it's 11.41, um, I didn't even get out of bed till 11, I don't know why I was so tired, to be fair, after I took that nap yesterday I didn't do much really, um, and then watched Pretty Little Eyes in bed until like probably one, half one and then went to bed, um, and, um, got out of bed at 11 today, um, I literally had my group meeting at 2, so I've got a couple of hours, um, I'm actually going to do my workout after my group meeting, because hopefully by then I've woken up, um, we're a little bit blinded by that light that came on when I started recording, because it took forever to go. Um, but yeah, I'm literally knackered today, I don't know why, just feel really tired and hopefully you'll wake up in a bit though, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys a bit, I am trying to get on with this group work I need to get done for a meeting today. Good afternoon, I don't really remember when I last vlogged, I think it was just the introduction clip to today. It is now quarter to six and I'll be honest with you, I have not done much today. I had my group meeting which lasted about two hours and a bit um, and then I did a workout because I needed to and it felt good and I just had a shower and I'm now about to write my script for a presentation we're recording tomorrow which I am really happy we're going to be done by tomorrow um, which is obviously a good thing. It's just it's a little bit stressful you know like I hate the idea of it but that's fine I'm gonna start writing script now and then if I when I get hungry I'll go down and put my food in the microwave but yeah I just got um a coke trying to like get my sugar level because I was like I was like shaking from that workout because I did two workouts today I did two workouts in the space of an hour because I just felt like I still had energy that I wanted to use doing an exercise so I just did two um so pretty good um I'm, what else was I going to say? I forgot, I know. Yeah, no, I forgot. So I'm going to stop talking now. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. It's now 27 minutes past 7. I have written my script. I've ran through it briefly, like really quickly. I kind of like spoke really fast. Um, but then it was also with stuttering though. I spoke fast but clearly, but it was with stuttering. So I feel like... If I practice it, but I feel like I'm going to practice it in the morning a lot tomorrow and just try and not stutter as much. Um, I try and not talk too fast, but also talk fast enough that it reaches four minutes. It's a little stressful, but it's fine. I'm actually going to quickly write a list of places I want to visit and quickly do my, and just sort my hair out and put some lippy on. And then I'm going to film my video for Thursday. I feel like it's going to be a really cosy one and I don't mind. Um, but yeah, and I'm also going to quickly sort out the dishwasher so I will be... Good morning, hello. I'm actually sitting on my bed to record this clip. I honestly don't know how well you can see me and how blurry this is right now, but I've just had some exciting couple of deliveries, both things I was expecting. I'm still waiting for one more to come, which is my bucket hat, not including the plan that I want to give away because that's coming from America and it's still not no one near here so um yeah um it is not really early it's like half past ten um but i don't really want to get out of bed i'm like really nervous because we're recording our presentation today and i don't know why but i feel really nervous about it but once it's over it is done and that's one less thing to worry about um I am drinking with my friend on FaceTime tonight, but I think I'm going to try not drink too much to the point where I do get drunk, because I have got quite a bit of work I want to do tomorrow, I want to start my consumer insights and coursework, 
so but I only say this from now and not one else sitting on my desk or whatever um because I wanted to show you the deliveries um so I, I haven't opened one of them one of them came so both of them were delivered by Royal Mail but they came separately and I was really confused why um and so I got a knock at the door at like two minutes to ten and my boots delivery came I haven't opened it because I kind of just got back into bed put TikTok on and took my medication and I know one came like five ten minutes ago so I just um yeah I opened that one because I knew what it was and I was really excited to see so I'm going to start with that one because it's open um there's this person called Tati Kapaya she does YouTube videos and I love her YouTube videos um and she has a small business called by Tati Kapaya where she does like prints and stuff and they look really cool like I love the look of all of them um but when this one came out I was like I had to get it I knew I had to the idea behind it came I just wanted it and um, because if you know me by now over the last few months my obsession with Niall Horan has been like up there like really really like big I haven't the obsession now is like really it's probably it's not bad because like it could be I could have an obsession with worse things um and like now I always miss a smile every day TikTok my TikTok's full of now horror and like, I watch loads of YouTube videos with him in and listen to his album all the time but yeah so I decided to get a print of my favourite song from my favourite album so it's got like, the title Heartbreak Web at the top but it's got the album cover picture here which I love because he's little face um and then it's got like the Spotify thing code there I don't know what they're called and then it's got the title of my favourite song which is Arms of a Stranger and then it's got like like it would be on like iTunes or Spotify and I just really really love it I think it's more no, Spotify not iTunes because it has the heart um, on, on Spotify and I just love it I was considering just putting it on my wardrobe like this and then getting a frame when I move home because obviously I don't really have space in my room for a frame at the moment but yeah this is all my new skincare stuff from the um and I actually can't wait to try it out. I got something that I am really intrigued to try out because I've heard loads of people talk about them on YouTube, these kind of things. Uh, maybe we'll try it out. But I also really want to get it into the box. Hey. I'm so glad it's just a small box, not a big box, but I need to remember to sort this out tonight because recycling and things come tomorrow. Um, paper. Okay, oh, I really forgot I ordered this. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so the first thing which I'm really excited about is these my my Stella Reusable Eco Pads um, from Garnier. I um, thought because I have got into wearing makeup a lot, like I'm doing my makeup today in the presentation, and I might even do a photo shoot because <laughs> um, I've run out of pictures again. Um, I thought because I, I wasted a cotton pads all the time when I could just use the ones I could just rewash. Um, and use again so I actually can't wait to give them a try and see if they're what they're like um, they feel really like really soft like a cotton pad but I love it like they're like really cute they've got pink on the one side but white on the other I just think they're going to come in real handy shaking my makeup off I'm trying to put it back in the box, but I struggle with these things. I then got this. Um, I ordered. Oh no, I did order two of them because this Ultra Lift Eye Tissue Mask from Garnier Skin Active. Just because my eyes get really bad under here, so I thought I'd just try them out. So I got two of them. Um, and then got some Neutrogena Clear and Defend Facial Wash. I actually do have the simple one but I've had it for like a good few years and I really don't know if it's still in date or not but I thought I'd try this out. I feel like I've had this or a similar one. I think I had like the pink one I think they had of this a good few years ago but stopped using it. I don't know what happened to it. I think I threw it away. Who knows. I don't know why it feels so cool getting new skincare. Then I got this I'm pretty sure I ordered the cleanser but The L'Oreal Paris Fine Flowers Toner. I was pretty sure I ordered a cleanser because I was looking at that, but it's fine. 
I do love a bottle with pink and I like pink and I'm excited to try it out. It says it's rose and jasmine and I love the smell. This is good for dry and sensitive skin. I have very sensitive skin where it's my body. It doesn't really affect my face, which I'm really lucky, so hopefully it should be fine. But like my ex on my arms was so bad. Like last night I got so irritated with it. Again, I need to get the contact with doctors because I think I need better cream because the cream that I have are not doing anything for me. I need to try the steroid cream. I keep not doing that sort of reason. I then have this Olay anti wrinkle firm and lift night cream. I know you probably can't see this very well from here, but um, I really don't want to get wrinkles and I'm at the age of 25 and I'm getting scared that I could so I thought I'd get that because originally I thought I'd lost my simple night cream I found it the other day yeah but I've had it for quite a few years and um, I don't know when things run out of date on these things cause, but I'm pretty sure there's a time when I should probably stop you but hey ho and then finally I got these I saw this in the American sale and I thought this was a perfect offer. I've always wanted something from NARS, it's so bad. But I um, don't really, I don't really do lip balms but they were on offer and I really wanted them. Because they look like lipsticks but they're not lipsticks and obviously NARS is kind of like a, in my head, a higher end kind of makeup and skincare brand. And I don't know why but it always reminds me of Sex and the City because like Carrie Bradshaw had like NARS stuff in there drawer and I was like back in the 90s so I got these two NARS like lip balms in a little box and it's so cute and yeah now that's that empty I am currently it is now 22 11 I am gonna get up in a minute get um coffee and my breakfast bar try and wake up a little bit and then practice my script again and again good afternoon it is 24 minutes past 12 it's thursday the 28th of january and i'll be honest with you i only got up like 15 20 minutes ago <laughs> i basically didn't go to bed till like well no i went to bed at like midnight for like um but i was just really tired so i stayed in bed till like 12 i stayed asleep to 12 and i'm not even really sorry for it I drank a whole bottle of wine yesterday, but I did take a paracetamol before I went to bed, so. Um, so it just helped me, um, helped me to wake up. I don't wake up hung hungover or anything, I just was tired. But yeah, now I'm up. I need to message my group chat to see when the video will be ready to upload, because we're all okay to upload it. Um, and then, that's what I need to do. What else do I need to do? Um, to, I was going to start the buy personas, but I'm kind of just having a slow chill day. I wanted to try and do my makeup for to do some photos today, but I just don't feel like I'm going to do that today. I'm going tomorrow. Um, I have show choir for the first time with an actual group of people today and um, today and um, this afternoon. But I just need to re-listen to the song we're doing and like re-listen to the harmony just so I know what I'm doing. Cause, you know. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to put my computer on, try and wake up with this cup of coffee. And I will talk to you later. Okay, it is now quarter, well basically quarter past three. I'm going to go and make another cup of coffee in a minute because I've only had one. So I've only been up for three hours, so. Um, but I haven't done much at all. I've just opened up the Persona templates um, and I'm considering looking at that, but I think I might just have to start tomorrow because my head is not there with it. But I might try and do a bit in a minute. I'm going to go, like I said, make a cup of coffee in a minute. But... I did do something, well not naughty, but technically naughty, but my friend, I'm going to pay my friend back tomorrow. She lent me £33 because Niall Horan's um, vinyl came into Stockholm Urban Outfitters and I was like, if I risk waiting until tomorrow, there's a chance that I won't be able to get it because it'll be out of stock again. And I'm like, I'm so excited because I've been wanting that for ages. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm currently looking at... XOXO aromas which is where I'm getting like loads of my wax melts for my um oil burn nothing because I really just they're, they're, they're cheap first of all and they just look really nice and I think that's so delicious. I'm just excited it is now 20 past six I feel like I've been MIA on vlogging today because I've just basically been super tired um I have actually started my buyer persona for well buyer personas for my consumer insights which is good i've done the first page of it i'm not done if i finish i'm gonna like touch on it tomorrow basically tomorrow i'm really it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a busy but productive day i think 
I need to do a food shop because I'm running out, I'm out of food. Not running out of food, I'm out of food and I get paid tomorrow. I am doing an order on XOXO Aroma, so I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, like, what I'm ordering obviously won't come tomorrow. Um, I might even order myself at McDonald's breakfast tomorrow, I'm tempted because I really want a hash brown. Um, I want to do a photo, like some photo, not just one photo shoot, I just want to do a whole photo, day, like, photo shoot as well. Um, because I want to some more, for, for, more um, content for my Instagram. Um, and I need to edit basically this, I was meant to put, upload a video this week instead of a vlog today. But basically I had not finished editing the vlog until today and I was like, I'm not going to get the video edited by tonight. So I thought I'd put the vlog up today and then a video up on Saturday instead. So I need to edit that tomorrow. I also need to get on my uni work. So that is the plan for tomorrow. And then in the evening on FaceTime with my friend, we're doing a... We're taste testing Guinness for the first time. I've never, I've never properly tasted it. We would choice them. We're gonna try it. We might as well. It's twenty twenty one, so we're gonna do it. Oh yeah, I'm really regretting it. <laughs> I was gonna call my dad and just ask him to give me a, like what he, like the taste, just tell me what it tastes like. But I'm like, no, he'll probably put me off it because, you know. Anyway, I have just under ten minutes till show choir starts tonight. First show choir session of the year. Um. And I need to fill my water bottle up, so I'm gonna go do that in a minute. I've got a lemonade, I've just had dinner, I had a sausage roll. Well, not a sausage roll, a sausage sandwich, but like a breaded roll with sausage in it with brie. Because I don't have bread. I don't really buy bread because I don't... Good morning. Oh my god. I f it feels like it's 10 in the morning. Um, by a friend from work, she's delivering me some cheesecake she's made um, this weekend and she's wanted to pick up um, find out my address so she could figure out what one's the best to drop them off. Sorry, I'm really hot. I just went to Tesco to my food shop. It wasn't exactly a successful food shop. I got everything that was on my list, but there were still things I needed and I knew I needed. But I got stressed out because Tesco was annoying, so I might just go back to Lidl later today or tomorrow. Um, but to be fair, I really need it. haven't really got anything I can have for lunch because I've only got brie, I haven't got any ham or anything, so technically should go back soon, but I don't really want to leave the house again. Like, that was just one mission. It's so windy outside, and I have to be fair, I went out without having coffee or anything, and I don't do well without coffee in my system. So yeah, but I'm, like, sweating, because I had, like, a, a, my coat on, my, like, army jacket, um, like, um, it's not a jacket, but, like, army shirt thing I have on and then and it was just walking around Tesco it got really hot and then I walked back with like heavy bags so my hair's a bit of a mess, wind swept but today is Friday, I haven't actually said that good morning, it's Friday the oh I did not want to do that Friday the 29th of January, it's currently 10, 10 past 11 but I have been up since 10 I left my house at like 10 past 10 so an hour ago I've got some weird juice I bought from Tesco today got loads of vitamins in it It's good and I've got a coffee but it's just cooling down a little bit. But I have got a delivery and I'm so excited to open it. So it feels really light and I feel like there's nothing in it. But I'm sure so there is. I'm always really, really annoyed that I'm always thirsty. So you quick on this. I'm about to do an order on XOXO XO, XO, XO Aroma as I mentioned yesterday. I was going to do it when I got paid. Um, just a load of wax melts just to stock up. Um, I bought tea lights today and in Tesco they have a pack of 100 tea lights for £2 and I was like that's kind of a no brainer that's, that's the most smartest idea to do is to buy that instead of buying like 10 tea lights for what £3 I had, and I was like yeah so I did that I got that um, I bought that in Tesco I, me and my friend are trying Guinness tonight over FaceTime so I bought a bottle of Guinness dreading it but excited at the same time um, what else? Uh, before I get into this, because I'm so excited. Um, I can't remember. I'm buying a clicker thing, like a Bluetooth clicker thing for my phone, phone for taking photos. So I'm going to order that because I need to order a spatula as well. Because the spatula I want is what is in Wilco's, and Wilco's I don't think is open at the moment. And even if it is, I don't really want to walk to Commercial Road just to go to Wilkinson. So. Actually, no, my, well, it might be open because it's, I think it's essential, but there's not. I don't actually want to go all the way to commercial just to get that because it's, it's a 30 minute walk there and back. So I'm just going to order it on Amazon. Um, it'll probably be more expensive than it would be in there, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. Basically, I've got a spatula with silicone on it, and like over the three years of me having that spatula, I've cut like some of the silicone off by accident, and it's really hard to pick things up in the frying pan now with it. So I am going to get a non silicone one. 
um, today. But this is like excitement because I've been wanting this car absolute ages. It's a nail water and nail. You don't want this. I've literally been wanting this since I got my record player and I finally, finally have it. So I'm so excited. The packaging looks a bit dodge. But as long as the actual thing inside's okay, I don't mind. Um, my fifth vinyl. I can't believe I have five vinyls. Who would have thought? But it's my boy, my future husband. He doesn't know it yet, but it's my future husband. <laughs> and I'm just. I love it. I love it. It's now 23 minutes past two. Quite a bit later since I last vlogged. I went to, to Lidl to get some more bits because I forgot certain things like my coke. I didn't forget. I didn't buy it from Tesco because I didn't think I was going to be to carry it back. It would be too heavy. With my lemonade cans as well. So just, um, but I also needed to get a few bits for my lunch and other stuff. So I went back and got, went to Lidl and got that. I started my personal my personas today, but just slowly. Um, just put the footage on my computer for the video for tomorrow and half of this week's vlog. And now I'm about to do my makeup. So to take some photos. I actually forgot I have this thing that I can put on my um, tripod to take photos on. I'm gonna try to anyway. Because I can only have it landscape that way, but it's fine. Because um, I do a mixture of both usually. But if I have to take it off and put it on my computer to do that, then it's fine. But yeah, um, so I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to get my makeup and start getting, thinking of outfits and stuff and do some photo shoots. So. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Because I've got a cup of coffee. It's going cold as well whilst I'm talking. Okay, sorry, didn't know it was recording, but I'm not going to talk for long because my batteries are going to die soon. And I need to charge them tomorrow morning, that's the plan. Um, but I, did my, I haven't really vlogged the rest of the day. I did my photo shoot, it was really good, I really enjoyed it. Um, tried some new different like, places to sit, like I sat in my bed, I never usually sit in my bed, I just crouch here and just take photos. So I actually really liked it and I'm going to work more on it because I'm getting a clicker to my phone to do the photos. Um, and I just sort my washing out and I've kind of been chilling, I haven't even done up, barely any work today. I just feel so demotivated today and I'm not sure why. I just, I'm just tired. Um, tomorrow I need to get on my uni work clothes so I'm based on my friend tonight, we're trying Guinness for the first time and I'll tell you tomorrow how I feel about it. And I'm just, you know when you're like really, I just kind of can't wait to go to bed tonight but yeah, anyway, I'm just watching Sophia and Chitsia, then I'm going to FaceTime my friend, and then I am probably going to put a movie on or something. Um, I might put Moulin Rouge on, but I was going to wait to see that tomorrow, um, because I was going to get, a, I got ice cream in the freezer. Um, uh, don't think ice cream in Guinness is going to go well, so, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to watch this, and I'll talk to, you, talk to you tomorrow. Hello, um, welcome to today's part of the vlog. It is Saturday the 30th of January, it's currently... 10 past 3 and I haven't vlogged all day because my batteries have been on charge. She'll probably get like two sets of batteries so then I have batteries charged ready for it but I just haven't gone out and got them yet. Um, it, I probably will get it next payday thinking about it because I've not got enough money to spend anymore. I spent so much yesterday on stuff I did not, it's not stuff I didn't need, it's things I wanted more than needed but I still kind of needed some of it. I ordered some bits of the skinny, um, stages skinny dip collection did not need it but I wanted it. Um didn't need I bought a cup of Etsy, didn't need it but wanted it. And I am not even sorry, um but I now need to stop spending money because I spent like so much. I'm about to show you a few things that have come. These are the things I said I was ordering and then I ended up ordering a few other things because uh, I have no control over ordering anything. I'm just gonna drink my coffee. But yeah, today I've literally been kind of taking everything slow, but I've been doing my uni work. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to show you what I ordered. Um, I went, to, I ordered off Amazon these tongs um, to cook because, well, I, and then I just bought this um, clicker thing. So basically it's for when you take photos on your phone, you can just press like the button 
when it's on and it will take a picture on the Winston camera. And basically because I'm now getting into really doing home photo shoots, um thought it'd be easier when I'm sitting down. So I got the um oil burner thing for my birthday present for my best friend. And I did mention about this last in my last vlog because my Christmas present not Christmas my birthday presents that I showed. And basically she got me these wax melts alongside the actual oil burner machine thick machine. The thing the wax melt machine, I don't really know what the machine, I don't know what it's called but I, think, I know what I'm talking about and you probably know what I'm talking about as well but um, these um, so it, these were the ones she got me and it's from this place called XOXO Aroma I only found out the other day that actually based in Portsmouth, it's a small business and it's in Portsmouth did not realise that until I went to do an order I prepared um, I spent £25, well £25 on the stuff and then £3 or £4 on delivery it's pretty fine and this is, I got this box this morning and there's so much in here, I'm obsessed. I love the little detail with the, the sticker on the front saying where it's from. I just showed you my um, address, sorry. So, I'm just going to pick them up. I got these, oh, I don't know if you can see them. But these little stars melts, this is Pinky Sands. Um, there's cute little mini melts stars. Um, I then have this... Um, Mini Melts Bar, which is called Daisy, and I can't wait to um, try this one. It's, it looks really, really cute. I don't know why, but you know the um, Milky Bar white chocolate bars? Um, I don't know why these are what it looks like, but now I can't eat it. Don't worry, I'm already aware you cannot eat these things. Um, I then have these sandalwood vanilla little hearts which got stars in them, which look really cute. I think I know why I've got two of these ones. I think I know why. So I'm just double checking because basically I've got... No, it's not. I don't know why now. I don't remember putting two of these ones in, but I did put two of these ones in. I've got two they're like really cute little hearts and some purple inside. These are Rosie Wonderland. Um, I didn't realise I'd ordered two, but I don't mind because they're cute and I like it. And they're pink. I then have lavender, which... Lavender for me is a staple smell. I love lavender smell. It's, wherever I go, I love it. If I smell it, I'm so happy. I have these ones that I call uh, Seychelles. There's cute little white ones with some gold. And then another lot of um, hearts on a shell. And this is Boss Bottled. Um, they just look really cute and really cool. Um, cannot wait to try it. Now I'm moving on to the bars. More than the bars. I've got three. So I've got this one, which is Love Potion. I really love it. It's pink, obviously makes me happy um, I have this one which is cocoa butter I then have savage which just looks like a really cool blue and I just love the look of it this box and I love the box and it is their cox her cocktail ones and it has so the one that's missing I've actually got it I was using I've used today and it smells amazing it is the pink fuzz and pomelo then you have at the top melon and cucumber, which it looks really nice. And then you have pina colada, which I'm a bit cautious about because I don't like pina coladas. The last time I had it, I was really sick. And the smell of it just makes, smell of coconut usually makes me want to be like, mm. so I'm interested to see if I like the smell of it. If not, it's not a big deal. Like this was not, this was six pound. And so basically two pound per co cocktail. So if you if I just don't worry about that one, the rest of them are still worth it. I want it with the others. And then watermelon decory, which I can't wait to start to smell. I was gonna use that one today, but I thought I'd start with the pink fuzz and pomelo one. And it's so nice, it smells so good. One thing I do know is if I start using this and I can't smell it, then I know I have I probably have COVID because these are, these are very strong smells, which is so good. Anyway, I am now just doing uni work. I've got a video going live in 40 minutes. And I am literally just chilling really. I'm kind of I shouldn't be going slow. My course work is due on Friday and I haven't even started the report part of it and but I'm still taking it slow because I'm really like, you know, you're feeling tired and not really with it today. That is my plan. But I know I'll get it done, like I'm I've always got my work done no matter what. So I'm trying to see what else did I order? I'm sorry, I was gonna say. So I ordered the stuff of Skinny Dip. I was telling myself, I'm not going to order anything else, don't need any more clothes. Then I saw that there was a sale on Anastasia King's stuff, like the teddy shorts, the teddy um, crop vest, 
top and the hoodie from Anna and I really wanted the hoodie before but I couldn't justify how much it was on a hoodie unless it was a uni hoodie and also I already have like three I already have three hoodies here that I always wear I have three or four three I think I have my uni one my show choir one and my friend's gym one I think I only have three here but there possibly I have four um so I didn't really need another hoodie, but I was like, I had to get it. It was on sale when it was in my size. And then I bought the, I always wanted, I wanted the cropped vest top and the shorts. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a photo shoot in that. Um, probably will probably only use them. I will probably use them for pyjamas though. Not actually outfits. But, like, to go out in. But they would probably be pyjamas, but they seem so cosy and I'm buzzing. And then I bought this, like, Starbucks cup. Like, you know, have, but I had it decorated with, I um, almost... Powerpuff Girls. I feel like I'm talking for ages, but I've been wanting to vlog for ages in the batteries in it, but it's like this mug. I don't know. Come on, my cup. Um, I wanted the Nile Horan one, but the only ones they did were the ones from America, and I couldn't justify spending 20 quid on the, the cup and 20 quid on the delivery fee. So I just got that one because it's from the UK. I feel like I've got glitter on my nose, but it's fine. But anyway, I'm going to put my headphones on. This is a Taylor Swift and get on with this work, and I'll talk to you later on. Okay, good morning. Well, it's not really morning. Good afternoon. It's 20 to 1. I've only been up 40 minutes. Um, to be fair, I stayed up till like 2am last night for no apparent reason. Just couldn't sleep. Just was wide awake, so I had symptoms on. So basically, I watched my Melanie Martinez K312. Started watching Sucker Punch, got bored. So put What If on with Danny Radcliffe in. Love that film. I forgot how much I loved that film. And then I put symptoms on and I still couldn't sleep till 2am. So... Um... I decided just to lay in today and I had a it wasn't a bad dream but it was a dream that I really wish I didn't have because it just made me feel really sad this morning um I didn't cry which I'm surprised about but I did feel really sad I had a dream that my nan was still alive and we were going shopping it was like me and my nan and granddad were just going shopping and it just felt like it was just something I wished was real and obviously I know it's not it just made me sad so um that happened I'm actually going to end this vlog here because I'm, I, my only clip I got yesterday, I didn't vlog at all after my first clip yesterday, but it was 15 minutes long and I already am aware that the last week's vlog is going to be long anyway. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I am actually going to film a video hopefully later on this afternoon. I'm going to go shopping and buy like stock up on food and freezer food. I'm basically going to put my, um, what's it called? I'm going to buy like loads of chick fresh chicken. But I'm gonna put it in freezer in the freezer. I like put it in, take them out, and put two in separate food bags. So then, um, I can just like take them out when I want to use them and cook, because I, I don't want to run out of money to the point where I can't cook food. But I also don't want to have to like do just normal things you put in the freezer, the oven. Like sometimes I will, but you know, it would be nice to have something different. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do a bit of shopping in a bit. Once I've had my coffee and woken up a little bit, I'm absolutely knackered. I'm just watching Harry Styles at the moment because I'm a bit obsessed with him right now. I'm probably then going to watch the interview I was watching on Brown Hall right earlier. I got halfway through and I stopped. It was all about golf, not my interest in thing. But I'm going to end this vlog here. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below and please subscribe. And I will see you again next week. With another weekly vlog, it will probably be a very stressful one because I have a deadline and I have barely started it.